Hello, Google. Oh, dumb son of a. Hello, Galaxy. I'm Chris Perillo, and this is my view in fewer than two. Google now has AI baked into your search if you toggle that option or opt into the labs feature. I'm kind of surprised that they rolled it out as quickly as they did. I was expecting a lot more time, but they've got to be a little worried. They've got to be racing against the clock because everybody's talking AI, and with Bing, which is basically not Google, B-I-N-G, Bing is not Google, right? Bing. Very recursive. Uh, you know, they're, they're looking to generate not just uh, uh, attention, but, but specifically a, a belief that Google has not lost the script that they are still very much in the game. So what you can do now is turn this feature on to have generative AI output at the top of a search result. And I gotta tell you, in using it, I don't know if I'm a fan. Now, generally I have liked what Google has done. And I, I, I like that they iterate search experience, uh, but the way this is happening, as much as the information that they provided is valid, I don't know if it's as, um, it, it just doesn't feel Googly. And, and that's not to take away from what they've done or what generative AI could be, but it just, it feels weird. And maybe it's just the way that the information is being displayed. But as of right now, I don't like generative AI the way that Google's doing it in, in, in search result pages. I don't plan on turning it off if only to see if I can acclimate to it, but I'm kind of curious. Uh, are you going to be using generative AI in your Google search results or, you know, on Bing, if <laughs> you're one of those?